Can you just tell me your name, please? Mm -hmm. And surname. Thank you. Do you know why you are here today? Okay. Let me just put the glasses on. Right, let me see your case here. Okay. You have stolen five dollars from your neighbor's wallet. So you deny. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the first question I just wanted to ask where you been on the ninth of September? Yeah, at home. Mm -hmm. All day. Okay. So you went out to do some shopping. Mm -hmm. And that was 3.30 in the afternoon. Okay. So tell me, when did you exactly came back from your shopping? Mm -hmm. And then you went straight home, yeah? Okay. So I just wanted to ask um, how familiar you are with your neighbor. You got friendship or it's just a neighbor? Okay, not that close, yeah? So you are uh -huh, bad relationship. Thank you. Okay, so at this point I have to uh, tell you that this interview will be recorded for security and learning purposes. Is that all right with you? Thank you. And you have all the rights to remain silent. Mm -hmm. Okay just wanted you to know your rights. Thank you. Okay. What is the name of your lawyer? Oh, Louis. Okay. Unfortunately, I am not able to expose this information right now. Thank you for understanding. Okay, can you excuse me a minute, please? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, he's with me, thank you. Mm -hmm. Fine, thank you. Okay, see you later, bye-bye. My apologies. Okay. I'll return to the case now, if you are okay with that. At any point, if you are feeling thirsty or if you need toilet, please interrupt me and I will let you to go. Okay, now can you tell me about the night before the 9th of September? Nothing to tell me. Okay. I am aware and I have witnesses that you have sneaked into your neighbor's bedroom. Okay, so you deny that as well. Yes, I have two witnesses. 
okay please tell me okay so you did crawl inside the neighbor's house uh -huh. and for what reason may i ask okay so to check the leak uh, why didn't you use the door he wasn't home okay fair enough so you crawled into the neighbor's bedroom to check the leak okay did you find the leak mm -hmm. okay just behind his sink which is in kitchen mm -hmm, thank you okay did you enter any other rooms in your neighbor's house the corridor yeah mm -hmm. and okay so you crawled into the bedroom through the window went straight to the kitchen crossing the corridor yeah okay did you notice neighbor's wallet in the bedroom that evening you didn't okay may i ask you how did you know that the neighbor's wallet is in his bedroom on the bedside table why i'm asking okay this is an interesting one no it's okay it's okay yeah that's fine thank you okay and now tell me about uh, what did you do after you discovered the leak excuse me you fried it with some onions okay so my apologies so you are meaning leak as a vegetable not as a leak a water leak okay my apologies okay Okay, so you discovered the leak, you, you found the leak. Why did you go to neighbor's house to check if he has a leak? I thought it was like emergency, so you went into his bedroom to check if there's any leak, so it doesn't affect the building. Okay, so, okay, tell me again. Mm -hmm. So you were cooking meal for your family and discovered that you ran out of the leaks okay and you needed a leak for your meal pretty fair so okay then you found the leak and you took it mm -hmm. did you take one leak two leaks okay are you aware that taking a leak or two leaks from somebody else's house is also a crime you are okay so unfortunately this will be added to your case that you have taken two leaks without permission to enter the house and take these leaks from the neighbor's place. Okay. Okay, and then after you took the leaks, how did you exit the house? The same way. Okay. Did you meet anyone in a porch? No. Okay. Um, I have an evidence that um, 
one of the ladies who lived nearby she saw you in the porch and she was actually asking you are you alright? you don't remember okay okay thank you okay so you crossed the porch where did you go? straight back home mm -hmm. okay back to your cooking okay thank you may I ask you what did you cook? what was the meal? leek and chicken pie okay and did you manage to cook it in the end? Mm -hmm. okay and was it nice? okay did you eat the pie by yourself? you ate it okay but you said that you are cooking for your family so they didn't return on time and you eat the whole, uh, whole pie okay can I ask you what did your family had for meal that evening when they returned just sandwiches okay Okay, and, and what did they have on sandwiches? So the leftovers from the leek. Just bread with no butter. Okay. Uh, just just the bread with with the leek, yeah. Okay, here I have to tell you that I need to add to your case another point which is leaving your family in hunger it wasn't intended okay why did you eat the le uh, leek and chicken pie then you were hungry okay unfortunately this is a crime leaving your family without dinner okay you understand thank you And then, after your family ate the sandwiches, sandwiches, uh, how did they feel? Not that bad. Okay. Did you tell them that you cooked the uh, pie for them? You didn't. Okay. And your wife said that she can smell the meal. Yes, yeah, something really nice. Okay okay and then what did you say so you said that the aroma is coming from the neighbor's house and you haven't cooked anything okay unfortunately i have to tell you that i need to add this also to your case lying to your family member is also a crime yes it's it is from domestic domestic yeah domestic crime <sighs> okay no I'm not trying to uh, put you in jail that's the last thing I want to do I just want you to confess yeah the truth yes if you have taken the neighbor's wallet no okay how much so you didn't take the whole wallet not the whole wallet okay and what did you take then five dollars okay but you didn't take the whole wallet okay. 
Okay. Let me just uh, make a quick telephone call. Yes, it's me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in five minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. No, nothing has happened. It was uh, my colleague. I had to give him a call. So let me just finish quickly here. And so you didn't take the whole wallet. You took five dollars from neighbors wallets. OK. Well, that is better than taking the whole wallet, isn't it? And I'm where did you find the wallet? Okay, as you took the leak, then you mm -hmm, noticed. Okay, and why did you take five dollars? Because you were desperate. Okay, That's clear as a day. And why only the other day? Because you were scared. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So you went to the shop, three thirty, and went to the neighbor's house. Okay. And so you went to the house first, and then you had your five dollars, and then you went to the shop. Yeah. Okay. And what did you buy? Pardon? Some leaks. How many leaks you can buy for five dollars? Six. Okay. And uh, what did you do with leaks afterwards? You cook the pie again. Okay. And sneaked it go into neighbor's house again. Why? To put the leaks back. Okay. Now I'm starting to see the whole picture so for the money for five dollars you bought six leeks you used four for yourself to cook pie for your family the following evening and then you went to the neighbor's house again and put those two leeks you took the day before back into his fridge clear Okay. Okay, and then I think maybe we just finish in a minute. Uh, just tell me what did you do after you put those two leaks back into neighbor's fridge? Okay, went out through the window, through the door. Okay, and you met a neighbor. Okay, telling him what? That you took five dollars and two leaks. No, you didn't. No, so only that you took five dollars. Okay, and that you mm -hmm, give him back the next day. Okay, so you told the neighbor that you will return five dollars the next day. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's clear. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, this interview is over, and um, you can now. Uh, go and uh, no, no, you are not under arrest. Uh, 
we're gonna do further research and investigation and then we're gonna contact you again okay yeah yeah thank you thank you so much and see you soon mm -hmm. goodbye goodbye